Okay, so uh, I'm going to go a little bit back with the school because uh, I actually do care about children, even though they're not my children, but that's the way, kind of person I am. And I care about each one of you, since I do know that, they're, that we're all human beings. And I do know that underlying within yourselves, you are, you do know the truth. And I do know that within yourself, uh, you as well are going through some challenges, maybe, hopefully. We, we actually live in a world that there's a lot of, uh, of those challenges in our environment right now. We're losing bees. We lost our bees every single year that we have been here for six years. We're organic farmers. I live on the 53 acres, and there's sprays all around me. Each year, my bees were gone. And then we're wondering what's happening with the bees. We're in this together. So basically, within yourself, I would like you to go deep within your heart, not your mind, where your, mi where your money's coming from. Yeah, it's important that you're feeding your families. However, we wouldn't be wasting our time here talking to you about our challenges if it wasn't true. Yeah, we're talking about emotional. We're not just mental beings. We're emotional as well. And so I just want to say, uh, when we tested Imazepur weed killer in the school and then, you know, the chain of custody, okay, didn't believe us, but then you find out the same results, that's fine, you don't believe us, human nature. So, uh, when, when a person calls from school and says, well, these are the thresholds, and the DQ personnel tells them, well, these are the thresholds that your ch child is safe at, you're above that level. Who determines those thresholds? Who can actually prove that that child at its development stages can drink that water year after year until high school? And actually, are you going to be responsible for that? Do you want to take the responsibility of another person's life? Of suffering of another person's life? I, I'm talking about heart here. I'm not talking about, just about the mind. We are not just the mind. So I'm asking you as a per people, I know you're good people within here. You have families and children. So I'm asking you, when you see that threshold and whoever determines that threshold, and I'll tell you who determines it. It's the one that makes it. It's the industry that determines it. We know it. We've done it. We've done all the research. We, we have all it. And you know it. Deep down within yourselves, you know it. But I'm asking you right now, when you leave this earth, I'm getting very personal. And when you, I don't know, whatever belief you have, are you going to ask yourself if you did the right thing for that person? I care about you. You don't have to believe me, but I care about you. And I go far as saying, I love you. So I'm asking you, can you care about us? Can you care? And I know you can. So I'm, I'm going very deep into your heart right now. So I'm asking those deep questions that you may deal with with yourself. Please, please understand me. So I'm talking about children. I'm talking about you, your own inner self. So uh, nobody can prove it to me that those children can actually drink that water, weed killer, uh, 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 that is, you know, like underneath the threshold. How did they get in the and, water? And it, it, they got in the water by school spraying, and we tried to warn them. And, and we wanted to ask, we wanted to ask, please, what are you going to do about it? It is, you, I mean, I, you know, personally, you have the, you have the, and you're in a position. That's why I'm asking you, not because you, you're bad people. You're in a position. So basically, we're just, that's why I ask you, you have the responsibility. You have the responsibility toward the creator that has given you life, that has breathed the life in you. You have that responsibility. And I count on you. I give you courage. I know you're good people. I know you're going to rise above your, your mind and, and, and reasoning and all of these things. And yes, science is good. But you know what? Again, we need to have more care. So I guess where I'm at, and it's a kind of a question, but it's not really a question. It's more like hoping, and I'm going to what gives you courage to act. Because I'm speaking truth. We live in this earth together. We're losing bees. I know for fact my bees are being affected by pesticides. I know for fact what I'm being affected of. When I have a period, when, when they spray and I have a menstrual cycle and breast hurting and my inflammation and all of that stuff, I, when I have headaches, 
I know what I'm going through because I know my body, I know about health. So basically, yeah, we can sit here and speculate, am I speaking the truth, why am I even here, How, why do I drive off for two hours and four hours in Salem and speak to you guys. I know all of you, I've seen you uh, and, and, I, and I have prayed for you. We came to a point here because of all the work of people, not just us, but people 30 years ago that have done the work. And people that secretly in their hearts knew the truth. People that have within themselves knew what has happened to them and prayed for, for, for truth and help. And God is going to help us. And I pray for you. And I know that you're going to do the right thing. I trust in you. You will. So please, please help us all. God, thank you. My name is Ross. I live here locally. I'd like to thank, first of all, thank you all for being here as representatives from your agencies. I don't hold you responsible for those agencies. I know you're representatives of those agencies that are supposed to be protect, supposed to be protecting us from health uh, conditions that aren't okay for us. Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. I grew up here, I'm a native Oregonian, I've lived in this valley all my life, not this valley, but Willamette Valley, and grew up on a farm. I have enough science background in microbiology to be dangerous, to know about science, to know enough to question science, and the science is only as, as good as the science and the, the, uh, the outcome of the testing. And you know, the published papers and all that, the, the proven scientific data that tells me that Roundup and genetic engineering and modification and, and Monsanto and Cargill and that whole game that we all know that no one's talked about, I want to talk about the elephant in the middle of the room, that I ask you, please, when you leave here, I see tonight as testimonial of like 50 years of a system that's gotten worse and worse and worse. I grew up on a farm with no chemicals in the beginning and I saw transformation in the 50s and 60s from chemicals and after World War II. And I don't want to go on and on, but that's when it happened. It went from the war to agriculture, chemicals. That's been established ever since then. And I just ask you, please, um, this is a symptom of a great big, the tip of the iceberg. This little, actually tiny little microcosm is the symptom of something huge. It's like a national level and a multinational level because the companies that make these chemicals are multinational. They have power in every one of your agencies. They have power in our so-called government. And they're powerful. They have big money, okay? We don't have a whole lot of money. And there's a whole, the majority of people don't have a whole lot of money. But the, the, the rationalization, and I understand that pretty soon we'll be able to detect anything, anywhere. That is only proof that the system doesn't work. That is only proof that, yeah, there's a lot of toxic chemicals in the environment, a lot of different places that we really, they don't, we really don't need them. That they're present, that they're detectable. That, yeah, that's true, but that's not a justification for my, my question. I don't even know if I have a question. My question to you is, is please, can you question the system that makes it okay to use 2,4-D in the first place, natrazine, and any other chemical that's carcinogenic that we're allowing through an environmental protection agency and other ones saying that these carcinogens are okay for your family and for mine and for the future generations. It's not just about us, it's about the generations to come. I just ask you to look in your hearts like the sister that just got through here to question the system. I know you all have families. I know if you question the system you could lose your job. Now who would want to do that? Well, I don't think any of you would and I probably wouldn't either, but then again I don't like the idea of everyone dying from toxins, either. So that's all I have to say. But thank you for being here.